This is the hover transition test stand for the RC VTOL. It's a low wing, so it's less stable balancing here because the mass is up here. But it still gives you a reasonable idea for the transition between hover and midway, halfway. In forward flight, it gives a false reading because the lift factor is for about 40% of the wing, whereas the CAG is 25. So when the motors are fastly facing forward here, the airflow will be going over and it'll be pulling up here. So therefore it'll be nose down or nose up. It won't be as accurate. But for transition, halfway, and for hover, put that in hover, that's where you want to calibrate it so it's working accurately. So it doesn't change more than about 15 degrees when you transition from hover to mid-flight to forward flight. Okay. That's a NASA 2412 airfoil, has a 2% camber is the 2, the 4 represents 40% of your cord as your lift, and the 12 is the thickness of your airfoil shape. I find that quite a uniform, useful airfoil shape for most models. Okay.